What's good guys, your boy Hugo the Savage back again for another review of the Continental from the world of John Wick. You pissed off, John? Yeah. Finally finished it, man. And I say finally finished it, it was only three episodes, three 90 minute episodes to be exact. Um, could have been separate movies on their own, but um, listen, I'll uh, be, be transparent, man. I'm in the space of reviewing movies and TV programs and stuff, and it always puts me in a rush to watch those, which in regular life, I would want to watch things when I feel in the mood to watch a certain thing. So that's what I'm going to do now, man. I don't feel the pressure to do it. I'm just going to do it when I want to do it. So I left it a few days. I think the last episode came out Friday um, last week. And now it's currently Friday this week. But it is what it is. Um, well, actually, it's Saturday. Flipping out. But yeah, I have to say, the way this finished, the way this last episode was, the culmination of all the prior episodes, one and two, yeah. Yeah, this gets a thumbs up from me. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I'm glad I watched it. Um, it's not don't seem to be a, a show what's been spoke about much on on the internet in the, in the space, which I don't know why. Maybe it's just because it came on Amazon pretty fast. Like once I did the trailer, it came on Amazon maybe a month after I did the trailer, two months, which I didn't even expect to. Even though he probably told me on the trailer the date, but you you see the dates and you kind of you don't ignore them, but it goes out your head and then it comes back in it. But. Um, yeah, this was this was cold. Um, ba basically, this particular episode, and obviously the culmination of the other two, um, Winston's team that he pulled together, almost like the John Wick Avengers. Um, they all they they got the team together to pretty much get to Cormac and take him out and take the hotel from him. That's you know, I mean that that was the aim of the game. And say, speaking of game, it felt like a computer game in a in a good way. The way the action worked in this, it was like going through levels. To trying to get to Cormac, who was the final boss. Um, I thought you had great fight scenes in this. Some one-on-one -on -one duels. Um, Yen versus, I think, I don't know what her name is, but the, the other guy's called Hansel, so I'm guessing her name's Gretel. Um, the, these two hit men, hit women. Well, I don't know what you call them, but they, they, and they've got like weird 70s hairdos and stuff, and they have no emotion on their face. But the fight was so cold, because I told you guys already that Yen is cold in this, which is the, the wife of Francis. Um, Winston's brother who passed away um, and then the other one she's a badass as well so the fight was cold she was all double jointed and like contortionist style fighting along with some karate in uh, martial arts I, I thought it was really cold that was dope um, the st the running back stories you had the uh, police officer woman um, KD we finally find out why she was after Winston this whole time because it didn't make sense he didn't do any crime in in New York because he's, he had spent most of his life in England and he's come back. We find out now that the house that him and Francis tortured, I mean, torched when they were like, I think he was about nine and Francis probably about 11, 12, something like that. Um, sent by Cormac, obviously. The family inside that building was, and obviously they didn't know there was going to be a family in there, was her family and she was the only survivor left. So she became a police officer. She finds her way into the Continental crossing over those grounds so she's not a police officer no more and her aim is to get Winston and get rid of him, kill him. That's that's her aim, seek vengeance out for her family. Also had Miles um, and his sister Lou, obviously part of Winston's team and there wasn't really a bad story with, with Lou as such apart from the fact that his sister, well, no, there was a bad story with Lou and I mean the brother was kind of just there but he was a good character, Miles. But Lou was on this quest to find out is somebody holding secrets away from me about my, my father? She lives in the dojo and her father was taken away from her. And she's been fed this story from her brother and people in the area for a long time. Um, the orphan master in this one pretty much tells her that now your dad was a gun for hire. He was he was one of these guys. He was one of the continental dons. You know what I mean? Running around killing people and stuff. So she finds out. She takes on, she takes on the mantle of what her father was in towards the end of the show. And the rest of the team did their thing as well. I thought it was really cold. Obviously, the main story with trying to get to Cormac, take the Continental Ground away from him. I don't know. I'm not going to spoil all of it. I mean, the biggest spoiler is not even a spoiler because we've all watched John Wick. So we know that Winston ends up being the head of the hotel. But how he ends up being the head of the hotel, I'll leave you to watch that yourself. Just know that it's a quest and you, you really do see how the relationship between Sharon and Winston built up. To the point where we see him in John Wick and it's the concierge and the head of um, the Continental and why they're so close to each other because this is the beginning story of it and obviously at the moment they're very young 
by the time we get to John Wick, they're in the 60s and 50s or 70s and 50s, if you want to go down that way. So, um, really loved it. Thought the characters were great. Um, a special shout out to um, Colin Woodall, I think, he played Winston. I thought he was good. Um, he could be used in so many different movies. Watching it, you're looking at it, and I'm like, yo, using this guy in this Marvel film or this action film would be cold. Um, the young guy who played uh, Sharon, I can't remember what his name is. Is it Are You Mighty? I can't remember, but he's cold as well. I said him something else, man. I can't remember what it is. Um, and then, obviously, Mel Gibson as Cormac. Okay, so what this gave you, this show gave us was you get the period piece from it being in the 70s, which was cold. They, I thought the the setting, the scenery was everything. The music, perfection in this. The, the, the songs they picked out for the 70s was really good. Um, bits of comedy in there, but not overly done. Loved that as well. Fight scenes, great. Mal Gibson, he was great. Like he was great in this as a villain. Now, of all the Mal Gibson movies I watched in my life, and that most of them, he's not a villain in it. Like ninety percent, he's not a villain. He's not a bad guy at all. The worst I've seen of Mal Gibson as a villain is those, the video, t you know, the audio tapes what came out of how he was talking to his wife at the time, you know, the the racist, aggressive, abusive videos. And I shouldn't laugh, but. So when he, in, there's a part in this, in the last episode, when he, he just loses his damn mind. And I'm like, if I didn't hear them tapes, I would have been like, this is incredible acting. Now I'm just like, is he just, I don't know if he just got himself hyped up for the mo for this show and just got really angry again because he sounds exactly how he sounds on the audio tape, minus the racism. I swear to you, anyone who's heard those tapes and watched this knows what I'm talking about. So please go and watch it. But that aside, which is crazy to say it's aside, but I guess... Second chances and all that stuff, you know what I mean? Whatever. Um, he was great. He was, he was a great villain. And and now that he's got back into this, because you know what's happened since that Mel Gibson's been out of the picture, just directing stuff. Now he's been in this, which is big, strong wick, continental ground. I wouldn't mind seeing him a villain in, in anything else. He's great. He's really great. So, yeah. But, uh, great show. Um, any negatives? Just the fact that it was three episodes... Three 90 minute episodes. I think I would have rather seen a series of, I don't know, 10 episodes weekly. I think I would have rather seen that. Just because I feel like, I'm not going to explore what happens at the end of this, but I feel like there could have been more, that there's some more stuff that I wanted to see by the end of this. And I feel like some of the stuff throughout the shows could have, they could have put a bit more detail into certain things but that's just because i like john wick and i want to know more stuff and i'm a bit of a john wick nerd now so i want to know all the little details about wow that character this character more stuff about the bowery more stuff about winston personally sharon and the, the relationship between him and his father lou and the brother kd i want to know about so yeah but apart from that i loved it i've been your boy yourselves comment like subscribe and share let me know what you think in the comment section um give your honest opinion in there man i feel like i'm gonna give this out of 10 a 7.5 maybe i'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 actually i enjoyed it um i don't know if that's still high though i'm going to 7.5 i'm also yeah because i've obviously i've watched millions of stuff by now and it's not you know what i mean but 7.5 i think certain types of people will like to watch this um i think people who don't like things from the past like the 70s or the 50s or 40s or anything like that yeah you you'll be lost on it but it's what it is man Rent.